before um, discussing wildcard types, uh, I think it might be helpful to uh, keep this picture in mind here. And um, what this actually is, is um, we've got all the various types down here, uh, interface types and, uh, and uh, classes and so on. And what I'm saying is that right at the very top of the tree is object, and right at the bottom is something called the null type. And um, every class without a superclass implicitly extends object, and every interface without a super interface, um, you know, I probably don't mean extends there, I mean is um, a subtype of object. Because um, um, any, uh, any, anything of type object um, uh, can be set equal to any um, interface type. Basically, right now this uh, null type here. Um, there is a type uh, known as um, null type, which has just one value, null. And uh, it's just like boolean, really, because boolean's got two values, true and false. Well, null type's got just one, null. And um, every class without a subclass um, has a null type as a subtype. And every interface without a subinterface has null type as a subtype. So basically, it sits right down at the bottom of the tree here. And uh, what that means, of course, is that anything up here uh, can be set to null. That's really what it means. Um, a null type, by the way, is something I've made up. It doesn't, in fact, have a name in Java. And it doesn't have a name so that um, you can't declare a variable of null type that would lead to some problems and so they don't give it a name but that's basically what it is